The following is for informational purposes only and is not intended as legal advice. Is my farm or food business regulated under the Food Safety Modernization Act? The food and agriculture industry is represented by thousands of farms, packing houses, and food processing facilities that offer a diverse array of raw agricultural commodities and processed food products. Many of these businesses are going to be affected by the Food Safety Modernization Act. Everything from smaller, family-run fruit and vegetable farms to larger produce farms and packing houses that ship products to other states. Those affected also include big food companies that sell products all over the world, but also many smaller value-added food processors that distribute their products to local and regional markets. This video will help you to understand what the Food Safety Modernization Act is and know whether or not it applies to your operation. So, let's get started with just a little background on the Food Safety Modernization Act. What is it? And what do we need to know about it? The Food Safety Modernization Act, commonly shortened to FSMA and pronounced FSMA, is a federal law. The U.S. Congress passes laws and the President signs them into law. FSMA was passed by Congress in 2010 and President Obama signed it into law on January 4, 2011. Congress assigned the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA for short, responsibility for enforcing FSMA. In 2015, the FDA finalized the FSMA regulations we will discuss in this video. It's important to know that FSMA regulations only apply to commercially grown, packed, and processed food or feed. Home gardeners or home food preservers are not covered under the law. Some types of produce crops and food products are also not covered, and so they do not fall under the regulations. First, direct-to-consumer sales at restaurants and retail food establishments. This includes grocery stores, farmers markets, farm stands, and internet food sales. However, these may be covered under other state or local regulations. Also, FSMA regulations only apply to FDA-regulated foods, not USDA-regulated meat and poultry products. If your operation is already covered under other FDA food safety rules, like juice HACCP or seafood HACCP, your products are not covered under all aspects of the law. You will need to check to make sure which parts of the law you fall under. So, although this list excludes some businesses, most of the food produced in the U.S. is FDA-regulated, and most businesses, including farms and food processors, are going to be affected. We'll come back to who is affected by FSMA in just a moment, but first, let's take a brief look at the seven FSMA regulations, or rules as they are also called. Each of these rules has a long, official name, which you can find at the FDA's website and a shorter name by which most refer to it. We'll use the short names here. The seven rules are produce safety, preventive controls for human food, preventive controls for animal feed, food defense, transportation, imported food auditors, and import verification. The first two rules are the ones that will affect many produce growers and food processors in Pennsylvania and other states. We'll focus on these two. The produce safety rule pertains to most produce growers, all but the smallest operations. The preventive controls for human food rule regulates all food processing facilities and some produce packing operations. Finally, some farms that process foods will be regulated by the preventive controls rule. So, to put this another way, we've got three main types of businesses affected by these two rules farms, packing operations, and food processing facilities. Now you're more familiar with the Food Safety Modernization Act and the two FSMA rules that affect many fresh produce growers, packing operations, and food processors. For more information, 
visit Penn State's FISMA website at extension.psu.edu.